invest in this if you are a beginner if you are new to the game if you don't want to do anything with your hair if you are tired of lace wigs lace fronts lace closures frontal wigs 360 anything but lace you're tired of it this is it <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Simone here. Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we're trying something very new. I've always had my concerns about it. I've seen it all over TikTok. I've seen it all over Instagram and YouTube. What? Gathered. Why am I talking like this? This wig is like a U-part wig, but it's not a U-part wig. It's a V-part wig. The major difference here is a U-part wig, you leave out some hair in the front of your hair, and it kind of acts as a sew-in, right? You can sew down your U-part wig or not. It gives you the option to have more flexibility and leave out, right? Now, this V-part wig, from what I'm seeing on the internet, is you don't leave out any hair. And I'm a little confused by that because I'm curious to know how will this look look natural I kind of feel like it will look like the invisible parts that we used to do back in the day if you have no clue what I'm talking about that just means that I'm telling you guys that I'm very old today's wig is sponsored by beauty forever this is how the unit looks it is a body wave unit as we love well I want to show you what the V part looks like this is, this is basically it as you can see right here I hope you guys can see that let me make sure so basically when you open it there are four combs here. You can see one, two, three, four, and these are supposed to clip onto your hair. When you open the entire unit, it looks like a wig that you clip on. This is it. So if you ask me, it mimics a U-part wig. So the way that I have my hair underneath is I've seen a lot of girls had like, they kind of had oldish looking braids, like grown out braids where the root was nice and curly enough to make this look natural. Now. I kind of have a braiding pattern for a sewing. <laughs> One, I am gonna do a sewing in a couple of days, so I figured I start the process now because I hate doing sewings. But this kind of works perfect because the V part wig and so forth. So the whole goal here is to leave absolutely no hair out. What I'm gonna do is unleash my crazy looking hair. What I'm gonna do is part this down the middle as I would because I would wear this as a middle part. have our middle part <laughs> now this part I'm just gonna let it flow just let it sit behind my in my ears okay nothing special here and I just want to clip this on so let's see how this look I'm gonna go a little bit lower because my armpits ain't shaved and okay so we have this here. I'm gonna make sure the wig fits perfectly around my head. And I'm kind of happy I braided my hair like this because it makes it perfect to kind of see how it would look. Now, obviously I have my braid. Make sure that the wig is covering the braid, right? So, so far this is what it's looking like from the side. It looks pretty realistic. Let's do it to the other side. Put it out any hair. I don't wanna say too much yet because I'm not gonna lie, this, this is not for me. Okay, this look is not for me, and I'm not sure this is how <laughs> it's supposed to be. I know one thing's for sure, one thing's for certain, however you say it, I ain't walk around like this. Naturally, I would leave out a little bit of hair. I know the point is to leave out no hair, but I'm not liking this. So I'm gonna do my own thing as I usually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch a couple of tutorials to see where I'm going wrong with this. And if I still just feel like it's not my jam then i'm gonna go ahead and just do my own thing and show you guys how to maneuver this but i will say this i do love the fact that right here does look natural like because i have my edges out so this part is perfect and i really want to show you guys how to how to wear this with no leave out but if i can't make it work i'm not gonna lie on camera and show you guys how to make it work when it's not gonna work i do also feel like that everyone that is wearing this wig and making it work they are using curly hair so that might be a trick. Okay, so after watching a couple of videos, I still hate it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, because I feel like all the girls, all the ladies, whoever's watching me, you guys, I don't want to try to sell you something and this is how it's gonna look. So what I'm gonna honestly do is I'm going to leave out a teeny bit of leave out. You can even move it closer. It's just not the vibe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just flat iron my edges.
saw how much how little bit of leave out I left out that's all you really need you don't need any more than that because the point is to have no leave out to minimal leave out you know and so and then I just do like one pass with the flat iron and then we're gonna comb it down and this is what's gonna make it look yes this is now now I love this thing I have such little bit of leave out out like this is perfect for on the go if you want to just run somewhere let me flat iron my edges on this side okay now I like it okay now I love it all right it just takes time but this is you know I was gonna give up but I never give up on my hair I'm always it has to be done now I made my my lighting much more brighter so you guys can see um what I was doing because I felt like it was too dark and I feel like for this you really need to see but this is perfect for the girls who just don't like to have a lot of leave out out if you just do not want to wear a wig or a lace so now I could say I'm definitely here for it I have to make my hair stay down because it keeps on puffing back up. But yeah, this is definitely a winner in my book. I'm going to go ahead and add some more curls to it because I'm not really liking, you know, it's factory curls. So I'm going to go ahead and add my own little pizzazz to it. I'll keep the camera rolling so you guys can see. And I'm going to go ahead and speed through this. But now, now I can be like, what you said? What? You're Nate? I'm gonna kick. Let me start. <laughs> yes, this looks immaculate. Like, I would never think I have a wig on. Like, I would think I have like a sewing or something. This is how great it looks. Like, and it's so cool because I have literally almost no hair out. Like, no, like you guys saw how little bit that piece was. <laughs> freaking love my hair honestly i wish that i would have wore this a long time ago because this is this is for me this this wig was made for me this whole v part thing was made for me and i think it looks even better than being a it looks even better than being a u part wig because sorry i've tried u part wigs in the past but i always say u part wigs don't work for me and it's true like i think having out too much hair just does not work in my favor. So being that I only have out a little bit of hair and then this is a wig, oh my God, my answers have been, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but no, absolutely love. I'm actually gonna dye this jet black like on another day because I'm just so curious to know like, like how oh, it's gonna blend so seamlessly when I dye this jet. Um, as usual, you guys know, I always like to add my own little touch to it. So I'm gonna just trim the ends because I do feel like the ends are a little rough. The other side. Um, but yeah, 
yeah, highly, highly, highly impressed. It's so funny because I started this video off being like, no, I don't like it. I hate it. Everything about it is ugh. And I ended the video in love. So that's why I always say like, don't give up too quickly on your hair because you'll go from one thing to another thing so quick. And obviously you don't want to spray too much. So spray enough and then I'm just going to brush it and then hold it in place so that it kind of stays down. Not kind of, so that it does stay down. And I just hold it. Like it's, this is basically you molding the hair. Yeah, but you parts never work for me because my real hair just sticks out like this. So I'll be like, oh my God, girl, what's up? What's up? Before I know it, my real hair is like this and the rest of my weave is down. Every time, never fails. This, look at that. And guys, we are basically done. Highly impressed with this wig. Looks amazing. Oh, love it. So easy to install. You don't even have to know how to do your own hair. You could be the biggest beginner in America, in the world, and you will know how to do this. So I say definitely invest in this if you are a beginner, if you are new to the game, if you don't want to do anything with your hair, if you are tired of lace wigs, lace fronts, lace closures, frontal wigs, 360, anything but lace, you're tired of it, this is it, <laughs> okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one and thanks for watching. I should have a code down below. If not, I'll let you guys know and yeah.